Hello LEGO fans, I'm here with another mock, my own creation. Uh, this time I decided to uh, design a pirate themed chess set. And uh, as you can see here, it uh, pits the crew of the Black Sea Barracuda and the command of uh, Captain Redbeard against the Imperial soldiers, uh, sometimes called the Blue Coats. And uh, I decided to design this set using Studio, uh, stud.io. Um, why did I do that? Well, first off, I don't have all the parts needed for this in my Lego stash, and I rarely buy new Lego. And also, some of the minifigures, especially all the blue coat soldiers, uh, can um, you know get a bit pricey for a project like this. So I figured I give Studio a go, and this is uh, my first design using the software. And uh, I'm quite happy uh, with how that turned out. And uh, it's it's a great tool. You know, I recommend it if you want to give it a shot. Um, you can also uh, render these um, models in images like I did here. So uh, before we dive into the details of this mock, um, why did I come up with this idea? Well, LEGO itself has come up with some chess sets in the past. Uh, including pirate themed chess sets and they were always kind of a mixed bag to me. Um, there were some aspects that I really liked, for example this chess set right here which came out in I think 2009, um, has lots of minifigures, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, especially I dig the um, Imperial Marines here. Uh, I call them Marines because they sort of remind me of the minifigures that were featured in the um, Caribbean Clipper uh, set. So I really like that and um, what sort of um, doesn't really resonate with me is these brick built um, pieces here. Now I really like the idea of having like a mast and sort of the stern of a ship for a rook and, and this, this uh, castle fortress uh, construction. But on the other hand uh, they kind of lose me when it comes to, to this knight uh, for example with the Horse, because, because, you know, horses weren't really ever featured in, in the pirate set. So that sort of felt out of place to me. What I really like is uh, the idea of, you know, having the, the monkey as a knight, because, you know, knights can jump over pieces, and uh, that is really fitting uh, for a monkey here. Um, but uh, where they really lost me was uh, in this chess set. Again, not a fan of the brick build pieces here. Like you have sort of like a map for, for a knight, which I guess makes sort of sense because on a map you sort of jump around and I don't know, or with the binoculars so you sort of like are looking diagonally, you know, for the bishop. I mean, it, it kind of echoes the pieces that it's supposed to represent, but I would have liked to see a chess set where there are just minifigures. And what really bugs me about this set is that they chose to have these weird uh, imperial soldiers right here. Um, so they don't have checkerheads or tricorns, they simply have these weird um, hair pieces, which um, I found really strange. So yeah, I just figured, hey, why not come up with your own set? So this is my mock right here, and we can see the uh, imperial uh, side here uh, representing the white pieces. And um, like I said, I wanted to design a chess set where every piece is a minifigure. So, um, and also I tried to uh, have one half of the chessboard be representative of the, the faction that it uh, is sort of home to. So here, obviously, the rim of the chessboard is uh, reminiscent of the Eldorado Fortress design. So, for example, you have these... Uh, uh, holes right here in the crenellations uh, that's directly taken from the Eldorado Fortress instructions. Uh, same goes for the um, torches right here. You can see them here. And uh, the mounted muskets as depicted here and in, in several other places. Same goes for, of course, the awesome imperial uh, flag. And uh, I also tried to stick to the overall color scheme. So you have blue for the water, um, you have gray for the, the plates and also the stonework. 
um, and you have um, the yellow and white, obviously, uh, the yellow and white, uh, you know, crenellations and brickwork and so on. So yeah, that's where the inspiration for that came from. And um, for the pirate uh, faction, um, I chose to have sort of like the stern of the Black Sea Barracuda. Um, as you can see here in a close-up, um, I, for example, had fun putting some details in there, like the map. Uh, it's constructed much in the same way. I just, you know, peeked into the instructions again. Uh, same goes for the stern with all these railings and, you know, sort of rising up to the back. And, um, yeah, uh, choosing these halberds right here as sort of like a detail uh, here on this side. And, um, yeah, that's how I came up with this. Um, and, of course, these iconic lanterns. Um, now, a fun little detail is I forgot to actually make them um, yellow. These one-by-one uh, -one studs should be yellow. Uh, they're black in this mock, but obviously they should be yellow. So um, if you want to build this set, then, you know, don't make that mistake. Um, yeah, and uh, this is the back. Um, I wanted to have these same red, to me, very iconic gun ports, uh, gun, gun port covers. So as you can see, I got six of those here. And uh, for uh, this ornaments here, um, I pretty much um, built the same thing as uh, per the instructions. Uh, went a little bit shorter than that, um, just because I didn't want it to rise up that high. And I also had to flip the frames of the windows because these, um, you know, these hinge uh, nubs here, they would have gotten in the way because it's slightly tilted. So I had to flip them around. But other than that, it's basically a one of, uh, you know, one to one um, recreation. And uh, yeah, I had these arched pieces, um, much in the style of this yellow arch piece here, just to break up the, you know, otherwise kind of massive um, wall right here in the back. This is the underside of the chessboard. If this were a real set, you would get a lot of two by two bricks uh, in blue, and uh, yeah, I think that would be a nice construction. Now, talking about the pieces, uh, for the white pawns, I went with the standard Imperial soldier. They are so awesome. I like the design a lot. You can never have enough of these, so obviously this was a no-brainer. For the black pawns, I went with the standard pirate sailor, um, as they were uh, depicted in the instructions of the Black Seas Barracuda. Um, so you always have these uh, different combinations of uh, blue and red bandana, blue and uh, red striped shirt, and the blue and the white trousers. So you get uh, different combinations in this set, just to give it a little bit of variety. They each one got a cutlass. The soldiers obviously have their muskets. Now, the white rook and the black rook. Uh, the white rook, I chose the imperial marine, as I would call them. Uh, they were featured in the... Caribbean Clipper set. Fun little anecdote here. I consciously put the tricorn on backwards because in my mind, I always thought that as a child, I had seen sort of illustrations, uh, you know, in instructions or catalogs where they had the tricorns on backwards. But actually, that's a false memory there. Uh, actually, they uh, wear them quite normally. So I just kept it to differentiate the rooks a little bit better from the other imperial pieces because, you know, being all uniform, it's a very chromatic, uh, monochromatic experience. So this gives it just a little bit of variety. And uh, it's also a fun nod to my uh, little, um, you know, uh, uh, false memory there. It's funny how uh, your memory can sometimes trick you uh, retrospectively. Uh, he also gets a musket, and the black rook is the pirate with the black tricorn, also as featured in the Black Sea Barracuda set. I only switched the trousers, uh, so in the instructions he has gray trousers, I gave him white trousers, and I'll tell you in a minute why I did that. Because when it comes to the white knight and the black knight, we have uh, first off an imperial officer, as featured many times in like, for example, Sabre Island, uh, Lagoon Lockup, uh, Eldorado Fortress, and so on. 
Uh, some say that this is also representing uh, Lieutenant de Martinet as uh, depicted in the Lego Pirate comic book. Now, um, you can you know, decide it's all up to you, but uh, if we look closely, de Martinet has black hair. This guy here has red hair. He also features a um, you know, thin uh, black curled uh, mustache, and this guy has a red, very thick handlebar mustache. So, I don't know, you be the judge. You can call him de Martinet. Um, let me know in the comments what you prefer, um, but it's not really a resemblance there. Um, a little bit more uh, akin to his uh, comic book counterpart is First Mate Rummy. He is depicted as a pirate with a brown tricorn, uh, this blue jacket with a red striped shirt and gray trousers. And that's why I flipped uh, this. Uh, in the original Black Seas Barracuda, he has white trousers, but here he has gray trousers to uh, make clear that this is actually First Mate Rummy. And when it comes to the white and the black bishop, for the white pieces I went with a standard bearer. Um, this is not so much um, really, uh, you know, taken from any kind of set because uh, standard bearers were not really a thing um, for the blue coats or the red coats. Uh, you never saw one of those. Uh, this is much more an echo to one of the earliest iterations of, of chess where, um, you know, way back in ancient India or whatever, uh, they actually were um, standard bearers. So um, that's just a callback to that. And I, it also gave me an opportunity to have the small imperial flag in this. And again, it's just a means to differentiate the bishop from all the other uniform uh, soldier pieces because uh, this is a little bit of a challenge when it comes to these um, blue coats because they basically look all alike. So you sort of have to uh, try to differentiate them so that you could actually play with them um, and have a chess match um, so you could tell at a glance which piece is which. So for the black bishop I went with Boson Will as depicted in the comics. Um, he uh, is in his all red attire and that's what we get here. Um, that's how he was featured in the comic book. Uh, you can see here uh, his minifigure there. Also here you can see uh, First Mate Rummy. And um, yeah, interestingly enough, you can see that First Mate Rummy here is actually depicted as wearing the, the tricorn uh, backwards. Um, and actually, if we look back at the uh, depiction here, you could argue that this is actually a bicorn hat. So in a way, um, you know, it's, it's sort of an in-between, you know. Um, it's a little bit tricornish, a little, little bit of a bicorn. So you be the judge and you can decide how you want to uh, depict him. But yeah, that's Boson Will right there. And then for the White Queen and the Black Queen, we have uh, the Harbor Sentry. Um, now, I always figured that the queens are like the most powerful pieces on the board. So I felt this was a great opportunity for the iconic bicorn hat. Um, and I got inspiration from that uh, from 6245 Harbor Sentry set. So because this guy <laughs> has a huge cannon on this little rowing boat, um, I figured he packs some heat. So, um, and, and the, the bicorn just calls for a special piece, a special status. Um, so that's why I thought he would make for a great queen piece. And the Black Queen. The, this was a no-brainer um, that I chose the sometimes call, uh, called a pirate uh, wench. So um, I call her Anne, the daughter of Bessie, because that's how she was depicted in the Lego um, audio books that were uh, out on uh, audio cassette back in the 90s. And as you can see, uh, as you can see, she has the blue bandana, the uh, red pearls, the black hair, the red lips, and this, um, you know, uh, this um, belt right here with the uh, uh, red corset or red shirt. And um, yeah, that's definitely her. So that's and daughter of Bessie, and Bessie is the owner of the tavern Keg and Cutlass on the Forbidden Island. So I like the lore 
the sort of official law, uh, lore of the Lego pirate theme there. Last but not least, White King and Black King, uh, King also a no-brainer. So uh, the White King is Governor Broadside. Um, he was depicted in the comic books as uh, also sporting this thin um, black uh, mustache. Um, now, the curliness isn't there, but otherwise it's sort of, uh, it's, it is close enough. So I gave him a gold goblet. Um, funny enough, if you look at the red coat sets, the Imperial Guards, uh, these admirals and governors, they always have white hands, so they are wearing white gloves. And usually they would wear the bicorn, um, like, you know, uh, uh, sort of like uh, Captain Redbeard wears them. Whereas uh, Governor Broadside has them with the, uh, with the edges in front. So, um, last but not least, Captain Redbeard, sometimes called Captain Roger, depending on the country you're living in. And um, yeah, that's him. That's as close a resemblance, uh, as close as a resemblance as they have. You know, that's pretty accurate. So that's to me the most iconic pirate Lego minifigure uh, of the pirate theme. It's this classic Captain Redbeard or Captain Roger. So yeah, that's uh, the overview of the whole chess set. Um, now, obviously, I would love for Lego to actually. Um, you know, come up with a set like this, you know, um, uh, you know, just out of sheer nostalgia, to me, the first wave of the Pirates uh, has a special place uh, in my heart because, it, you know, it started it all. It has some of the most iconic sets uh, of LEGO ever. And um, I just, I would have loved for LEGO to come up with a set like this. Um, it's for, uh, you know, for collectors, it's uh, for nostalgic people, it's for army builders, obviously, and it's just a great display piece, in my opinion. So let me know in the comments what you think about this set. And um, yeah, until we see each other again, have a great life, surround yourself with nice people, and don't step on a Lego.